All right, well, welcome to Boston. Um, you're here on a two-way deal. What are some of your goals for this training camp, and what kind of role have you been playing in practice so far? Uh, my main goal in training camp is to be in the best shape possible. Uh, the G League did a great job for me, getting a good sense of getting game reps and the pace and what it takes to be a big man. And obviously in the NBA, it's a different level. So to be on this team and to help at this level, rebounding, spreading the floor, setting good screens, being in multiple actions, I got to be in phenomenal shape to be able to complete that at a high level consistently. And throughout training camp, uh, I've been it's been great. I've been mixing in with some the first team, second team. Um, Joe has been great showing me around. The team has been super supportive, showing me their schemes and what they did last year and what they did was successful. So that's the main thing in training camp, just trying to get the defensive schemes down, playing with it, playing with guys, knowing their tendencies. But so overall, I've been enjoying training camp. I saw Luke at the end of practice yesterday playing with the first unit. Um, I'm sure there's probably a lot of mixing and matching going on with Rob out. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of opportunities has that given you, Luke, and uh, even like Grant? No, it's been great. I mean, Joe, I mean, he has a big job on his hand trying to pick the rotation. I mean, it's, it's on him and the coach staff to decide what they're going to do. Uh, my job really just to focus on what I can and just be make it as hard as possible for them. So if I'm the player that I think I can be, being in great shape, making great plays on the offensive, defensive end consistently, then I'm sure I'll find my spot somewhere and you know, I'll let Joe settle it. And what have you seen from Luke, Grant, some of those other guys playing that five spot along? You all bring a little something you no, the, the, the biggest thing I notice is just their pace and smoothness. Like, I'm super excited to get down, you know, push the pace, you know, up the energy. And I see there's like a fluidity with them and how they move, maybe because they have a good sense of the offense. But that's the biggest thing I took from Grant and Luke. There's, they're very poised, especially in pick and roll coverages, through traffic. So the overall poisons they have on the floor with the ball and off the ball is very impressive to me. Yeah, and Joe said he wants to keep a lot of things the same as last year. I know this team switched a lot. I right. know they had a very aggressive defensive scheme. What are you guys as bigs being asked to do so far with this? Uh, it, based off the last two days, we've been in touch. So the bigs have been in drop. Maybe some defensive drills we've switched just to practice it. But as it pertains to like going live and switching, only when like Joe or the coach staff set up a lineup where it's a switching lineup, uh, that's where they kind of do it. So, so far, we haven't done a lot of switching for myself personally, but it's definitely been practiced in drills and stuff. And I know when I talked to you in Vegas, you were really excited to talk to Al for the first time. Like, yeah. I think you said you, you were going to go right up to him and you know start picking his brain. Yeah. What kind of things have you guys been able to learn from him so far? Man, like Al is like, especially with him, he's so cool and so calm and very welcoming. You know, for a guy who's well established, you can, I guess you can say that it might be an ego. He went to the finals, all star, all these kind of things. But just the level of humbleness and poisonous around him, it's been great. Uh, I'll ask him stuff about coverages, footwork. Like one thing specifically is I would ask him my foot placement when I'm in the gap. Should I have my, my lead foot up or my back lead foot down and expose my chest? And Al kind of told me the best thing for me to do is to open up your chest because you can kind of see ball and see the man and kind of create a little angle on both sides. So those kind of tips and tricks definitely helped me as a big. Last one I got for you. Just the atmosphere of practice so far, Joe taking over. What have kind of been your um, reactions to him as a coach so far? And sounds like Marcus, Malcolm, a lot of guys have been vocal so far. Like, who's kind of stepping into that leadership gap? Uh, amazing. Like, Joe's been great. I mean, since being here, like, when I was in the summer league, it was Coach, it was coach Ben, and he was really great. And, he, you know, they come from the same philosophy and same understanding. So coming in with Joe, it's been really good. Um, Marcus has been really vocal with me, especially because I'm on the defensive end. That's really good at. And Malcolm's been great, kind of showing me around. I met Malcolm my rookie year in Vegas, actually, at a dinner, and he kind of showed me the ropes. So to see him now and talk to him and pick his brain is super calming because I know I have that support with them and I can be honest and pick their brain. And what does that sound like, Smart, getting on you defensively? No, it's, ex it's exciting. Like, when, like when, when a guy like that who's done it, it's like, it makes you want to be that because he's done it. So you have the utmost respect because you never done something like that and you visualize what it takes and for him to do it for real, anything he says is law. So I'm ready for it. All right, B. Thank you. Great talking to you. Good luck. Thank you.